that div. Okay, so between these two key commands, everything's going to be 10 degrees. Between these two, it's going to, everything's going to be 40. Here, it's going to be zero. Okay, so that cross with a circle around it means it's horizontal. If it's just a normal cross, then it means it's vertical. Okay, and then everything over here is going to be 85. All right, so that's how, and then everything over here will be one. So that's how you break up your, your dip domains. It's based on your key domain. Okay, so we're just kind of simplifying. That's what I did. Right, so I know that if I'm in, if I'm in uh, this boundary, I'm in this pink band, so I know that boundary is going to dip 40 degrees to the west. All right, so you're going to use a protractor, which obviously I don't have. I don't know one either. It's going to be 40 degrees to the west. And how do we know how to draw that 40 degree angle? What is it relative to? The horizontal. Okay, so horizontal. Okay. So now uh, I know that this boundary over here is within this pink band, so it's going to be 20 degrees, but it's dipping the other way to the east. Okay, so I know that's going to be 20 degrees. Okay, something like that. All right, now that's just the general shape, but we have pink bands in there that we have to do account for. Okay, and what do we know about pink bands and how they interact with the poles themselves? What's the special relationship? So there's a change in direction when the kink band is, is intersected. So well, there's something about the geometry of the kink band that's not perpendicular. Okay, it bisects. So what does that mean? Goes through. Okay, so if I have this 40 degrees and this 20 degrees, and I have the kink band, it needs to bisect that angle. Right. Okay. So if I know that angle I can measure with my protractor and then divide by two, then what I'm gonna do is I'll draw my kink band and this angle and this angle need to be equal, okay, five sections. So that's what helps you determine the geometry. So if you know the dip angle between your two beds, then you can determine where the kink is, okay? So for this example, we have two kink bands we have one here, we have one here, okay? And so, oh, there's a 10 degree in there too. All right, so here, we go from 40 to 10, and this is key band, we go to 10 to 20, okay? So I'm just gonna draw this down here, but we go from 40, and then we go to 10, and they're both dipping the same way. So if I have a, a 40 degree angle here, and then a 10 degree angle here, what is that obtuse angle gonna be? I forgot the question. Okay, so whatever it happens, let's say, it's, I think it's like 150, is it 130? Okay, so let's say it's 130. So divide 130 in half, that's 65, right? I just made it up. We're going to measure this angle. We measure that angle. Okay? And so if it's 130, we'll cut it in half at 65. So now at this kink band, we know it's at its surface. And so we need, and we need to bisect that angle. So it's going to dip to the east. It's going to be 65 degrees this way. Okay? So let me erase this. that 65 degree angle and it's still going to be from horizontal so it's going to be in here like this that's 
65 degrees, and then over here I'm going to have 40. So when that 40 hits that, that's when I'm going to start going 10 degrees. That way. Okay? So down here, I just drew it out to figure out the angle, because I didn't know where it would be up here. So I just figured it out here and then made it up here. Okay? So that's, that's totally fine. Okay, so then uh, we need to figure out this kink band and where it's going to go. And so for that one, okay, we're going 10 this way and then 20 that way. So that's the angle we need to figure out now. So we'll say that's 140. So then that kink band here is going to be 70 degrees, but this one's going to be dipping to the west. Okay, so it's going to be 70 degrees, pretty steep like that. So when this one hits there, then I'm going to go 20 degrees that way. Okay? And then in the middle, so what, what rod unit do I have at the surface? There. A. Okay, so this is all A. And then what's underneath A? B. Okay. So if I have A in the middle and it's full, what kind of full is that? Incline, and how do we know if it's incline? Okay, so youngest is in the core of the pole. So the shape is not enough. If it's a shape, we don't have age information, then it's called, it's in form. If we have age information, then it's incline. Okay? And so this is a, an example. If you have a pole like this, and A is in the middle, B is on the outside, and A is younger, that's still a syncline, even though it has a positive shape. But it's called an antiformal syncline. Okay? <laughs> so a syncline, it just tells you about age. It doesn't tell you about the shape. Synform or antiform tell you the shape. Okay? All right, so if we keep going here, if we look at the C boundary, the well, that should be 40 degrees. And if we, we know our kink band, then we know it's going to go 10. And then here's the other kink band, we know it's going to go 20. Okay? And a good way to check that is that if, if I know that this C is in the well, then that should be 40 degrees, and the kink should go in here. So the thickness should be really very similar. So if you screw up your kink band, then your thickness is going to be off. Okay, the other thing that's an interesting check is that here we have C at the surface and B here at the surface. So that contact there is between B and C. So this is the right angle and you can intersect that, that contact. Okay? And then that's going to continue up when it goes flat. And there's another kink band here. So you would work out that kink band and see what the geometry was. And once you get that, then it'll go flat. There's another kink band. It's going to go the other way. And then, uh, okay, so it's going to go flat. And then it's going to, uh, once it hits here, it's going to go very steep down 85. Yeah, that was a lot harder than mine was. That was really easy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I don't know which one it looks like. Is that one? Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah. yeah. That was easy. It was one of those. So it's, it's still the same yeah, it was principle. One of those. Okay, we're 
Um, I think that's the uh, four propagation for it. Are getting tired. It's gonna be so hurry up. What up? That one? That one doesn't seem so bad. Hmm? This one look, the first one looked bad. This one doesn't look as bad. went through it. Trick dip. 